Welcome to the latest mortgage market update. And there is a sense now that for the first time in a while, the mortgage market has at least settled into a space where the sudden movements in rates have diminished and an eerie calm has fallen, just in time for Halloween. Swap rates have steadied and eased a little more over the past few days, with two-year money back below the 5% level and five-year money at 4.5%. And we are back with the expectation that the Bank of England will not move rates upwards again this year. In fact, one-year money is now 5.2% below the current Bank of England base rate of 5.25%. Of course, this can all change but the voices are growing in volume, cautioning against any further rises. The next base rate decision will be this week, and we will let you know what happens, but I don't expect any change this time at least. Santander is the latest big name to get in on the action, or at least try to promote some action, announcing some major reductions which will also add to the competitive pressure. Two-year fixed rates continue to edge towards the fours, with Santander leading the way with their 5.14% rate. Whilst in the five-year fixed market, Santander has also eclipsed Halifax, moving down to 4.64%. This month, we have seen an uptick in activity as consumers look to see if they can take advantage of a buyer's market and some more attractive mortgage rates. This is from a low base, however as mortgage approval figures last month showed that they fell to the lowest level since January of this year. But it's a positive nonetheless, and I'll take any positive I can get these days. I still firmly believe that lenders can do more to help though. And whether that's with improvements in their rates or in their processes, better affordability and criteria, it is time for them to come back to the table properly. Elsewhere, the talk is around the forthcoming autumn statement, or the budget to you and I, and the fact that housing could and should play a major role. We have already seen Mr Gove's latest plans around phasing out the leasehold system, and the plans here include ensuring that all new houses that are built must be freehold, capping all ground rents on existing leasehold properties to a peppercorn rate, as well as changing the standard contract lease extension from 90 years to 990 years. They also want to remove the two-year limit before a lease extension is granted as well. Other items said to be considered are an extension of the mortgage guarantee scheme by a further year, which would help lenders lend more, especially in higher loan-to-value boundaries, and yet another, yes, another tweak to stamp duty. We shall see what actually happens, but watch this space and have a great week.